Today we're talking about this beautiful 1967 230 Fintel. Like the the this car was the first Fintel we picked up for the collection. Funny story the way it happened. We were hanging out uh, at the overflow here before we had the showroom. And um, this guy named Dax popped his head in. He had a unit next to ours. And he was uh, bringing in cars all the time. And he came in and said, you looking for a special Mercedes? That's actually exactly how he said it. Uh, we said, sure. He pulled it off the highway. It was on the way to North Carolina, I believe. And um, it was like around 7 p.m., 8 p.m. And he pulled up uh, the 18 wheeler on the street right here and they pulled it out and this thing was beautiful. Wow. Uh, we bought beautiful. it on the spot. Uh, very nostalgic car. Beautiful, beautiful black paint. Fully restored inside out. It drove beautifully when we first got it. And then we ran into some issues down the line. We're waiting for Pierre um, to come work on it or get it sent back to him. He did the work on the on the motor uh, originally when we got the car. But you know, it's a beautiful car on a beautiful summer day. There's really nothing like a Fintel. So I strongly suggest if you guys have an opportunity to pick up a Fintel in your lifetime, please do. Right now we only have four Fintels in the collection. We have this one. We also have the baby blue 1961. We also have the 1967 forest green and the 1964 black on red fintail. But this is the 1967, beautiful like I said. Uh, can't wait to get it back on the road. These cars are very special, uh, especially coming from Lebanon. Um, you see these cars a lot out there. These cars have survived wars. These are true tanks and we're just, we're just happy to have some in the collection and looking forward to bringing them out and uh, driving them around the streets like you've never seen. So stay tuned guys. Try to keep up with the moves All of this paper, you look at confused Vintage Mercedes, condition is new Just met a Nicky, flew in from Peru Money contagious, the shit like the flu Outfit Italian, down to the shoe They want to smoke me and try to defuse Oh, yeah Please do not try to keep up with the moves All of this paper, you look at confused Vintage Mercedes, condition is new Just met a model, flew in from Peru Money contagious, the shit like the flu Outfit Italian, down to the shoe They want to smoke me and try to defuse No Nicknamed the Fintail, Heckflosser, and internally referred to at Mercedes as the W110, the Fintail took prominent design cues from the period, particularly from Cadillac. This propelled sales, ultimately producing 628,282 units over the W110's lifespan. This beautifully maintained example is finished in black non-metallic color code 040 on a creme MB Tex interior color code 121, which has shown its ability to withstand time. The neatly rounded front and rear windshield give the cabin a voluminous feeling and exhibit craftsmanship that is dearly missed in modern cars. The vertically stacked cluster plays the part in making you feel like you're behind the wheel of a time capsule. Altogether, this vehicle perfectly represents the zeitgeist of its era. A mid-sized vehicle for the upper middle class, which inspired cross-country travel, embracing wanderlust. Money contagious, the shit like the flu. Outfit Italian down to the shoe. They want to smoke me and try to defuse. Oh, yeah. Please do not try to keep up with the moves All of this paper, you looking confused Vintage Mercedes condition is new Just met a model, flew in from Peru Money contagious, the shit like the flu Outfit Italian, down to the shoe We want the smoke, we ain't trying to defuse, no